Hi there, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the Coil Tech 15 inch coil and the Equinox 15 inch coil for the Mine Lab Equinox. Stay tuned. All right, in this video, we're going to go over a couple of things I've kind of discovered about these two coils. Uh, we're going to talk about the cost, the coverage, performance, depth, weight, durability, warranty, and waterproofness. First, cost. Now, the Coil Tech coil is list for two hundred eighty-six dollars, and the Mine Lab list for two hundred and thirty-nine dollars. So the Mine Lab coil is cheaper, and that's what forty-seven bucks, right? Forty-seven bucks doesn't seem like a lot, but to some people, forty-seven bucks is four hundred bucks. It might be a difference between able to get a coil or not get a fifteen-inch coil. So, anyway, cost-wise, I'm gonna give the first smiley face up in the corner here to mine lab. All right, let's talk about coverage. This was a very difficult uh, thing to come across. They're both 15 inch coils, right? But first, if you notice, the uh, coil tech is actually wider. It's got, it comes out a little further than the other one. And you would think on it, if it was a concentric coil, it would be no question. But these are what's called WD coils. First, I'm gonna show you real quick on a concentric coil. It would be easy to determine because it would come out further and cover an extra inch on each side right here because it's that much difference. One's uh, 14 and a, the Cortex 14 and a half and the mile is 12 and a quarter, right? So it would be covered more, more on the sides. But that's not necessarily the case when you're talking about double D coils. And when you say double D, some of y'all may or may not know this. But if you look at this, this is not a round coil wire here. What it is is two coils and they're in the shape of a D. If you look real close, you can see it goes through here and goes around here. That's one coil. And the second coil goes here and comes around and goes down here. They're injecting and receiving signals. As they inject the signal to the ground, they're receiving the signal back. Now, a normal coil, that concentric coil, would be would be have a parabolic curve on it where it's detecting the area like this. And these, is, they're putting out a signal, a parabolic signal like this in here and one from here to here, but... In the reception area, it's only getting from the, here to here is where the field that you're actually reading in is right in here on a double D coil. And that's good for a couple reasons. Um, it reduces, if you got like iron and stuff out here, it separates the targets much better when you got the double D coil. But anyway, we won't get into that right now. But one thing I did notice, it is wider, so it should be giving a little bigger um, parabolic curve. And if you notice, the separation in the coils in the center. The coil tech has a little bit more separation than the mine lab. Just a little bit. It's not much, but it is a little bit. And I like that. So, and that's good and bad because if you're in a heavy iron area, it would be bad because you want to keep that small. But on the beach, I like to have a little bit more. It's just a slightly much bigger, but it is a little bit bigger uh, detection area. Just slightly. So, we're going to give the coverage to the coil tech. All right, performance. Um, I did do a little video air test. I know nobody likes air tests, but just to kind of give it an idea. I actually had the coil tech yesterday and dug a 50 cent piece down probably about 16 inches. I mean, I barely, barely got a signal. So I kind of just tested it on the back yard. And sure enough, 16, 17 was a max I could hear that, which is pretty good. But um, I took the mine lab uh, coal right in the same setting and everything. And, uh, same thing, 16, 17. You got the 15 inch width this way, so your curve, parabolic curve should be the same on both of them, even though it might be slightly different on the other direction, but the depth should be really close. So as far as performance, and, and, and I've been using both of them, so I, I know the, the sounds of, but from both of them, very similar. I, I cannot really distinguish a something that makes one of them way better than the other. So as far as performance goes, I'm going to give them both a smiley face because I can't really say one is any better than the other as far as performance goes. Half, half reading it and half responding with the Equinox. Um, depth. I'm going to say the same thing with the depth. Like I've just seen, I tested both of them out there. They really seem to have the same depth perspective with the 15 inch and the VLF frequency going in the ground. I think the depth saying that they're both going to get a smiley face on the depth. Weight. 
Now, weight is a little tricky thing. Um, if you look, read the, uh, what they come from the manufacturer, uh, I believe the uh, coil tech is 29.48 and the mine lab is 23.28, which is 6.2 ounces heavier. So the coil tech is going to be heavier, I'm, but I'm going to go into a little bit something in just a second on that. But from straight, if you stick around your shaft, it's six ounces heavier, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you got a torn rotator cup, your, your arm's weak, or whatever, six ounces, and you're swinging all day long, six ounces could make a difference. So that's, I'm going to give the weight to uh, a smile face to the my lab because the coil tech is a little bit heavier, but what I've done, I made it even closer. Well, let's talk about this a little bit. One, um, well, let's see. Well, I, it's going to get a durability in a minute. But anyway, as you all know, the tabs on the on the uh, my labs detectors are not that good. I've broken a lot of 11 inches and both my 15s are broke. This is one of my original um, testing I was doing to try to find ways to reinforce these tabs. And y'all saw my videos how I came up with a smaller one. This is a little overkill. Because I actually did it long ways. And it's overkill. It works. And no problem. It's never thought about breaking. But uh, it's a little overkill. But anyway. I added this to this one. And actually. If you notice. It, it looks a little similar to how the Coltec has on theirs right here. Uh, in the same design with a little bit longer. But. What I do. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have my coil covers on here. I do not use coil covers on the beach. It reduces the weight. And that actually, when I got started using this one, I did use this one uh, for a brief period of time. And I was weighing them. I had the coil covers on. And the thing was like way heavier. I said, what in the world? Popped the cover off. It has eight ounces of sand inside the coil cover. These Those coil covers, if you just went through where that sand is working its way in it and will weight it way down. You got to be really careful if you're having a coil cover on there. If you're going to use it, keep it cleaned out because that sand changes the weight dramatically. I mean, you wouldn't believe how much sand will change the weight on it. So I took the um, both coil covers off. Of course, I had to add this to this uh, to make it so it wouldn't break on me. Um, so the weight-wise between this one and this one now with the coil covers off and the repair job uh, was 2.7 ounces, which is a whole lot less. I, had, I did not notice a two ounce difference when I'm swinging this one versus this one. It's, it's small enough that I can swing them, swing it all day long. So anyway, I do that. You know, some people won't, maybe don't want to take the cool cover off. But in my case, on the beach, on the sand, I don't have a problem. If it's rocky or it's got some stuff I'll be hitting, I would definitely want the cool cover. But just on straight sand, I don't have a problem doing that. Um, let's talk about durability. Now... Y'all know how I many, every one of my coils I've had repaired, both of my 15 inches right now have repair jobs on them. The other one had a, a, a previous one test market that I did before this one. So um, durability wise, every one of these have broke on me. Uh, I, everybody know these coil tabs have broke. I don't know if they use cheap plastic or what, but you know, that can mean a lot to some people because, you know, it takes two weeks to get a coil. If you don't have a backup, I keep backups to everything because of that, but you don't have a backup, you're sitting there without a detector for two weeks. That's major to me. Uh, I don't know if anybody has had a cold tech break on it. Maybe have, but I haven't had any issue with it. Uh, I haven't heard of anybody having an issue with it. If you have, comment below. But I haven't heard anything. Um, they have, as you see, a little support bracket right in here. It's longer across here to support it. It's got good flexibility, so when you you know, tighten it up the hold against the, um, the shims that you put in there. So, durability-wise, I'm going to give it to the cool tech because I don't know of any issues. I haven't had issues, and I've broken my share of these right here. So, durability-wise, we're going to smiley face with the cool tech. All right, warranty. The um, my lab has a three-year warranty on their machine and their coils. It says it right on the instruction. Coils and machine, three years. And I have sent these in, and they have replaced them for me, ones I didn't repair. I've decided to repair them from now on because it's easier for me to just repair it so I have it, and I'm not out of a coil. So, but anyway, if you want to send it in, three years, good warranty. Coil tech, two years. 
Now, that does you know, it could mean a lot to somebody because you get one of these ones that go bad after two and a half years, $286. So that could mean a lot. So I'm giving that smiley face to the Equinox three year warranty. So you got to do it. All right, waterproofness. They're both rated to 10 feet. It's for the Equinox. Equinox is only rated to 10 feet, so you're not going to take them any deeper than that anyway. So they both get the smiley face on the waterproofness. They're both ready to go in the water. You dive down to 10 feet, no problem. All right, I think that's going to cover just about everything I talked about. Uh, but let's think, which one would you rather have now? After all that being said, I think it comes down to a matter of preference. One is a couple of main things. Cost, you know, can you afford it? Because it is more expensive. Weight, can you swing that weight of, of the Cortex? It is a little bit heavier. Is the durability a major factor to you? Because you don't want to be without a, a, a coil for two weeks. That could be a major factor. Say, no problem, I'm getting that one because it won't, it won't break on me. So it all comes down to a matter of preference. They're both great coils. You're not having any, you're going to do basically the same performance on both of them like we talked about. So it's a matter of form. I like them both. It's some things I like about both of them. Uh, I like a couple of things like going to Coltec. I like the way they got this one with, with the wing nut versus this here, but that's just a matter of, some of these are just a matter of preferences. Um, like I say, operation-wise, I've used them both and they pretty much operate the same. Um, of course, now that I've repaired all mine with these, you know, I, I feel safe of using this one. It's not gonna break them when I, when I do that. That's the last thing I want to happen is one to break them in the field. I hate that. Especially, even if you got a backup and you're two miles from your vehicle, it kind of hurts, it doesn't ruin the whole day, but it ruins a lot of part of the day. Anyway, that's where I come up with the differences on the Coltec and the Mind Lab. I hope that helps y'all out a little bit. And uh, hey, get you one. 15 inches, definitely good coal. You Either way, you're covering more ground with a 15 inch versus like an 11 inch, four more inches, it's almost 40% more, you know, 30 some percent more, I guess it is, that you're covering. So if you would normally dig $10, and then you dig $14, because that coal is going over that little bit extra area. So anyway, appreciate everybody uh, coming, checking out this little video with me, and uh, hope y'all can get a chance to actually try one of, these, one of the 15 inch coals here. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. I'll see you on the next adventure.